Hello beautiful humans, I hope you all are doing well. If you are not, please do not hesitate to reach out to someone. You are not alone and you are deeply valued. So welcome, this is my first ever YouTube video as Honey Be Mindful or as Lexi Dahlia. I tried to do YouTube in the past before. Um, however, we are going to give this a fresh start and um, I'm really here just to do more studio vlog stuff. Um, a couple things I want you to know about me before we get started into um, the vlog for this week is that I own a small business called Honey Be Mindful. It's an Etsy shop. However, I've gone in public before. Um, there's some little pop-up shops that I've done. And yeah, so I really like to give the real authentic side of what it is like running a studio and sometimes that means that days kind of go on a little long um, and you really never know what to expect especially if you're doing um, just orders on Etsy um, because it's just whenever someone places an order really but kind of working behind the scenes with design etc so really what you're gonna be seeing in these vlogs is um, just really what it's like running your own small business I also have patreon so I have monthly people that partner with me which is so so amazing I still am in awe of the people that um, just partner with me monthly and I send them out monthly gifts and they get things in exchange so the reason I wanted to start YouTube is because all of my um, video camera content is on patreon so I do podcasts I do behind the scenes I do bullet journal flip throughs so if you're interested in that you can click the link in my bio or the link in the description sorry a couple things I want you guys to know about me personally is that I am 22 years old I live in Florida I grew up in Indiana however um, I moved here in middle school um, my passion is really helping people I am currently uh, I just started actually this week my bachelor's program and I'm going into my bachelor's for communications and conflict which will set me up for my master's in clinical mental health counseling because I really want to help people. Um, I'm really passionate about breaking the stigma. There's a stigma around it that is very negative and I, I'm on a mission to show people that mental health is just like physical men health and physical illness. It's just in the brain, you can't really see it. So that's why it's so often misunderstood. So it's stereotyped and I have a really big passion for it. So I'm going to school for that. I am also engaged, so I will be getting married in October of this year. I'm really excited about that. I'm currently living with my parents and then me and my fiance will be getting a place and moving in when we get married officially. Um, that's just kind of our values. We don't want to move in together or anything before the wedding, which I'll probably talk on a little bit more so you guys can know a little bit more about me. So the first thing you guys are going to see in this vlog is my Monday. And this Monday, I wanted to redo my whole entire space because this is really probably going to be my last time that I get to redo my own room. And that's something that I've loved doing my whole entire life. So I got really excited and inspired. So I added some shelves. I moved my desk. Um, I moved some things around. I made it a little bit more um, efficient, especially for running a small business out of your room, a 10 by 10 room. Um, it can be a little challenging. And then you'll see my Tuesday and Wednesday was pretty much gloomy days. It was even today is gloomy, but it was really slow. It was more of getting on track with school and um, th really the realities of packaging, how I package, what I spend my time doing on a day to day basis when I'm doing things like this. So the only thing though is I didn't have to record a podcast or anything like that this week. So um, I used my filming time for this. So I hope you guys enjoy it so much and enjoy the vlog. <sighs> Hi there. I am in renovation mode. So today I am pretty much renovating my office workspace, workspace slash studio slash bedroom. Um, those of you that do not know, I am um, engaged. Um, I probably said that in the intro. However, I will not be in this room very much longer. I'm going, I'm still living with my parents, but I will be moving in with my husband when we get married next October or this October actually. Um, but yeah, so I kind of want to take this time to just go all out to decorate one last time. It's really nothing big. Um, I changed my room my whole entire life. I love redecorating it and moving things around. I love interior design, everything about it. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty much just going to be moving some things. I'll show you, um, kind of in like a little panned thing. I'll have a before and after stuff like that. Um, I had a poll on Instagram if you guys uh, wanted to see more of like interior design, my tips on how to really cultivate your own space. Um, so that is what I'm going to be doing today as well as uh, studio vlog stuff. So I'll basically just run through what I'm doing. 
Uh, this is going to be staying in that location. My desk there will be moving over by my window, which I will show you in a second. And my bed is going to be moving from this way to this way so that I can fit my desk here. And hopefully it works. Sometimes I move my whole entire room around and it just doesn't fit. So I'm really hoping that this just looks good and it just works. Uh, because I'm probably not going to feel like moving it back. But I can't work in a space that doesn't feel good. So we're going to try it out. So yeah, join me. Okay, so I just finished about two and a half hours of school. So school started back this week. I took a six month break. Excuse my dog, he's coughing. Um, but yeah, so I took about a six month break after I graduated with my associates and now I'm going into um, 
communications and conflict for my bachelor's. Um, so that just started. I actually started yesterday, but I just kind of got on there. I saw that the due dates weren't till a little bit later. So I decided to get on there today. Kind of mapped through everything out. I did assignments for two of the four classes. I'm going um, 12 credits this semester. So yeah, got some good things done. I definitely needed to prioritize that. Um, I was looking at my to-do list here. I have like tons of little things here. I need to print more journal sticker inventory. I need to do some things, um, more uh, admin stuff. Um, and I also have to take pictures of new items. I can actually show you guys the new items because they're already gonna be revealed by the time that this video is up. Um, however, they won't be released yet, but I still wanna show you them. And then I have to work on a logo for someone, but and then I have to purchase my textbooks. But this is the new item, check this out. Okay, so it's these cream leather, okay. Focus. Is it focusing? Let me go back more. Okay, so it's these cream leather um, keychain. It says mindful on them, and then they have black accents for everything. They are just absolutely gorgeous. Why are you not focusing? There we go. Okay, yeah, so that's the accents, and then. So, yeah. They're super cool. I'm really excited to um, launch them. There's limited quantity, however, um, and I'm not sure if they're gonna come back because I outsourced them to another small business and they had a sale going on. So it really just depends on if they are going to be um, continuing that sale or if I can find another sale. Um, but yeah, I got them for a crazy discount. So that was really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely just in love with them. They're gorgeous is beautiful um, so yeah I have to take pictures of these because I'm revealing them tomorrow which is Wednesday um, but yeah I have to do that and then I have to um, print some more journaling sticker inventory and then I will probably do some reading and that is going to consist of my day it was a really gloomy day um, which I personally love but it's really hard to get like more things done when it's a gloomy day um, and I'm also fasting this week, so no coffee. So I'm just draining, like, I'm drained, not draining. But yeah, I'm just drained. And I'm also going to start editing this video because I have Monday and today up, and then I'll finish editing it just so that I'm not crammed in all on uh, Thursday and Friday to edit it. So yeah, I'm gonna get to doing those things. Enjoy, enjoy the, the scenery. So I want to make it very clear that the message here is is not to 
unfilter yourself in a way that harms others. That is not enough. We don't need that kind of uncomfortable around here or really anywhere. So if that is your interpretation of I'm not here to make people uncomfortable, well, you, you've misinterpreted. So with that being said, with the understanding that um, we all bring that in the way that you and your special, unique mind interprets it. So it's important in just like as a baseline, like your voice needs to be heard because it's a unique voice way that you show up as you are. So in business, it, it affects me across the board. And I've worked really, really hard to shut off those voices and to remember that I'm not there. I'm not in that meeting to make the people there feel feel comfortable. I'm there in that meeting to make sure my opinions are heard and to make sure that the, the companies or the products or the directions that are being taken have my input and, and uh, that's the ideas of how we make people uncomfortable. For me, it's uh, thousands of YouTube comments, right? We've all kind of racked up a list uh, of the ways that people have let us know we've made them uncomfortable. Maybe you're too loud. Maybe you um, dress too bright, too wildly, or too dark. Maybe you are too opinionated. Maybe you are too argumentative. Maybe you, or that you're not very good at something and you shouldn't try anymore. But here's the reality. Those people's opinions, right, they don't matter, right? They don't matter. In that those people are not... Good morning. It is Wednesday, January 13th, and um, yeah, we got some things on the list to do. So I'm definitely going to start with school, though. Um, that is priority, so I'll probably do about two hours of school. I'll get ready here, and then I'll get into work. I think one of the most important things about running your own business from home or even working from home is still getting ready. I know that sounds so cliche, and I hear a lot of people say that, but it has been like a super intense like game changer. Like I'm so much more productive. And I really do feel like I can get a lot more work done when I'm like ready and I'm not just in my PJs all day. However, there are, are days that, especially when I'm editing, that I'll just kind of be in my PJs or I'll at least dress the upper half of me. Um, but like I might wear sweatpants with it. But um, either way, it really helps me to get ready. Um, so yeah, let's let's get this day started. So I spent pretty much two and a half hours on my schoolwork, which I thought it would be somewhere around there. Um, yeah, so I still have some orders to pack and I was going to get ready, but it's already like almost one o'clock and I'm kind of just feeling the hoodie vibe today. So like I said, it's one of those things that it's not every day that I get ready. It does help me be more productive, but today I have a lot more admin stuff besides packaging the order. So I'm going to be on like my computer a lot more, my iPad a lot more. Um, stuff like that so it doesn't really require me um, doing anything business casual so yeah I'm pretty much just gonna kind of chill out the rest of the evening and bring you guys along Tiger print, red panda print, and the cat. 
Matt and Rose print. I've been getting some questions about them. As I stated in my last vlog, I will no longer be making prints at home. It's very time consuming, it's hard, it doesn't even make good quality prints. Maybe the least cool thing I could ever say, but it's also one of the most like Alright beautiful humans, that is all I have for you guys. I'm going to be doing bi-weekly YouTube videos and they are all going to be studio vlogs, really just like a day in the life. Um, they're going to be bi-weekly though, so I'm going to be filming my time throughout the weeks um, and kind of just update you guys every, um, every other week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will see you guys in the next one and remember that you are so deeply, deeply loved. I hope you guys enjoyed.